All right. Welcome, kings and queens. Today we are talking Bell Collective, season three, episode six. I'm just going to do a real quick recap. And I, you know what? To be honest, this recap is going to be focused on episode five. But this episode was a continuation and a follow up of the altercation that occurred between Selena and So Gucci. And I have some thoughts on that. And I just want to be able to share with you all. But let me ask you something before I get into my insight. Who do you who do you feel initiated the altercation? Be it physical, verbally, who do you feel was the aggressor in the situation? Drop it in a chat. I just want to hear your thoughts because I know there's some different opinions. I went back and I I watched the episode just to be sure. I really wanted to be fair. A lot of times I pick a side and when I pick a side, I tend to stay there. That's just me. (laughs) But what are your thoughts? And we're going to jump in. For those of you who are just tuned in or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television. But most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the black experience. Subscribe now. Before we jump in, I, I want to share something. Um, I heard an interview that Maurice Scott did with Carlos King. And it really bothered me outside of the way that he treats Kimmy and all of that. But one thing that they said that really bothered me and caused me to kind of scratch my head is Carlos referred to Maurice and Maurice's behavior as being a traditional man. And I was, I was like, absolutely not. See, that's what we're not going to do is we're not going to excuse abusive and erratical behavior by labeling it as him being traditional. Traditional men are beautiful men. And we're talking about traditional men that provide, protect, take care of their families. They don't abuse their wives. So let's not try to shuffle that behavior under being traditional. And as a matter of fact, I have a question. Is traditional the new covert language for abusive? I want to talk about that tonight. I'm really thinking about going live tonight to talk about that because uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh, no way, no sir, indeed. We are not going to call or give abusive man the beautiful title of being traditional. That's not the case. What are y'all's thoughts? I just kind of wanted to get that out, out, get that off my chest because I'm like, really, Carlos? Call a thing a thing. You have yet to speak on the revenge tape that one of your employees engaged in. And whether it occurred on company time or not, he's associated with your brand. It ain't nothing traditional about that. So until you can speak on the erratical and the very, very abusive and toxic behaviors of your cast members, I don't really think you have a dog in this fight. And I really think you should step out of labeling these men as being traditional until you step up as an executive and address some of the really, really disturbing things that are going on with your cast members. That will be a great place to start. All right. So we're going to jump into Bell Collective. I am not going to review the entire episode. There was a lot going on. But what I want to do is I want to focus on the dynamics between Gucci and Selena. And I'm going to break it down really quickly by focusing on four people. I'm going to focus on Gucci. I'm going to focus on Selena, Sanjay, and then JJ. Got it? I'm going to start with Gucci. So let's jump in and talk a little bit about Gucci. Now, this is all based on my opinion, my perspective. Feel free to join in in the chat. Now, Gucci, in my opinion, you started the fight. You started that fight. I watched the tape and I saw you initiate physical contact in a very aggressive manner with another person. They were trying to uh, run interference between both you and Selena as, as, as as both of you were engaging verbally. In the verbal confrontation, y'all, nobody had called anybody outside of their name. So that's okay, right? 
That's okay. Nobody was being ultimately disrespectful. Both of them felt some kind of way about the other, but nobody had gotten disrespectful until Gucci. I saw you, you threw that lady's hand, like you kind of brushed it. Uh, she had on black and you threw her hand back really, really violently. Okay. So now you're ready. Then you rip off your sunglasses off the top of your head. You're in fight mode now. I'm just going to say that was the start of it, the physical part. And then I saw you reach in towards Selena. I believe in my opinion, based on what I saw after that, Selena probably more than likely responded to you physically. And that's when the fight started, which we did not have an opportunity to see production cut it. And we, we, we are only able to gather more information based on what you said and Selena said and the collective of the group, which is y'all hit the flow. <laughs> y'all got down low to the flow, honey. So that must have been a hell of a fight because they said your hand was cut. Glasses were flying, which is understandable. I'll talk about that in a little bit. You know what? Let me cover it now. When people have items in their hands, probably they weren't even thinking. They were just throwing uh, glasses. I don't think anybody meant to hurt anybody in that manner. I just think instinct took over, that animalistic instinct when you're up against fight or flight and the ladies were fighting and glasses were going. But I don't think anybody had the thought, I'm going to take my glass and hurt her. I really don't from either one of these ladies. So let me establish that. What are your thoughts? Now, I have a question. Is this Gucci's, do y'all know, or can somebody tell me, is this Gucci's first marriage? Because she seems to be very protective, very, very protective of her relationship with JJ. And I'm not so sure why, because JJ is married to you, Gucci. And according to you and him, y'all have been together for quite some time. And also Selena's remarried. So I want to know, is this your first marriage? And if so, that could be the reason why you seem to be very, very nonchalant towards Selena to the point that it's disrespectful, in my opinion. I also feel like you were, you have been very misleading about what happened as you begin to recant uh, the fight to, you know, Marie, and then you're talking to JJ, girl, you leaving out a lot of details, okay? And when people start leaving out details like that, I immediately feel like you have the propensity to tell a lie, okay? Even when you don't include the details, that's the same as lying. And I feel like you're being extremely misleading about that fight, and you got to be very careful with that. You're making huge assumptions, and I'll talk about that. And you're not giving your, your part. You gave your part about calling that lady an extra, which was extremely disrespectful. Now, if they did not have the marriage dynamics there, okay, um, with the kids, I would probably say, you know what? <laughs> I guess you are an extra. But girl, y'all are family. And there's no reason for you to have disrespected that lady like that based off of her saying you're not going to speak. She wouldn't rude. She just said, is Tambra the only one you see here? And you said, well, I'm not going to speak. And you walked off. And as a matter of fact, you came back and you said, especially to an extra. What's up, Gucci? What's the real issue? What's the real issue that you have with Selena? Now, I'm not saying Selena's not innocent because she did say the bells are stale, honey. But in your face, Selena seems to be cordial. OK, both of y'all talk crap about each other and you're different scenes with your friends but when she's in front of your face she is cordial and she has seemed to be respectful you on the other hand I want to know what's the issue okay Aikisha stay out of that now you need to stay out because the way you teed this story up I'm not I'm not feeling it I understand your need to protect your friend but you know Selena did not start that physical altercation based on what I saw, okay? And then y'all refer to the girl as low class, um, as if she doesn't, as if she is solely responsible for that. No, ma'am. I don't think either one of them are low class. So we're not going to do that because Gucci was the aggressor, in my opinion. I don't recall 
And the more I thought about this, I watched it twice. I said, you know what? I don't recall ever seeing Selena out of pocket on Bell Collective or on the Dancing Dolls. Selena made a really good point. She's been on TV way before you. And I don't recall that lady ever being out of pocket. And then you took a slug. So I'm watching you, Gucci. I'm just talking about you right now. You took a slug at Latrice. Latrice is not always my favorite person, but right is right, wrong is wrong. By insinuating that that girl set you up. Latrice did not set Selena up to fight with you. Now, Latrice may have been being a little bit messy by inviting Selena, but girl, that's reality television, Gucci. And if you can't take the heat, you may want to consider leaving the kitchen because that's what's going to happen in these type of settings, okay? Producers are going to say, hey, you want to invite Selena? And Latrice, being Latrice, is going to invite Selena. But I want you to have a different reaction for that. I want you to do better and have a better response. Number one, because you are a stepmother to Selena's children. So you have to show up differently. You have to, period. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I really I really start to think about all of this. And I, I have to say, stop it, Gucci, because you made first contact. And now that JJ gave us more information about how involved Gucci was with his kids when they were little, I'm starting to feel that Gucci may feel some kind of way, y'all, about not being acknowledged or shown on the dancing dolls. Because now that we know she's been in those girls' lives since they were little and they were on the dancing dolls and they had dancing competitions every weekend, if you go back and if you, I watched the dancing dolls faithfully. All those years, I do not remember. I may have missed it. I do not remember seeing Gucci. Selena was always the face of the show when it came to her kids. So y'all picture this, follow me. If Gucci was actually the primary parent alongside JJ taking care of the girls, she may have grown resentful over the years for not getting highlighted on the show or recognized as the stepmom behind the scenes. Now, I feel you on that, Gucci. You're a human being, and I can only imagine how that may have felt over the course of those years. But let me level set with you. That is not Selena's fault. That's on JJ. JJ could have worked with the producers to have you shown as his wife. Because, honey, I'm going to be honest with you. That entire time, I was under the impression that Selena and JJ were married. Y'all, did y'all know? I knew at some point things were different. But for the first few years of the Dancing Dolls, I was under the impression that Selena and JJ were married. Now, later on, I started to put two and two together. But I didn't know there was a Gucci even in the building. And that's on JJ. That's on JJ. JJ could have worked that out or negotiated some way that you were shown as his, as his uh, support and as his wife so that as the audience, we didn't run with the notion that he was still with Selena. Okay? But it's not fair, Gucci, to take it out on the girls or at their mother. Your feelings belong to you. Your inadequacies, they belong to you. Your husband, I mean your husband, <laughs> I meant to say your hubby is the, the head of your house, not Selena. That's your husband's job to make you feel fulfilled, recognized as a stepmother. That's not on Selena. And to me, it seems as if Gucci may feel she hasn't received the recognition she feels she deserves for playing a huge part in the girl's life. Again, that's still on JJ. And I'm going to tell you something, Gucci. And anybody else that's listening, being a step parent is a thankless job. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Anything you do, you need to do from the goodness of your heart, whether you get a thank you or not. Because nine times out of 10, depending on the child, first of all, a lot of kids don't even tell their own parents thank you and please and how much they love them. Okay, so let's just pause there. 
It just depends on their upbringing and how that was enforced in their home. But most kids aren't going to be, oh, I love you so much, mom. Thank you. You're the best. They do every now and then. But it's just, ah, uh, kids are kids. So if you're going to step into that role, Gucci, you got to do it expecting not an ounce of thank you. And you kind of brought up Selena a couple of times, throwing shade about her parenting skills. And that's what a mama's supposed to do. I don't like that. I don't like that because those girls are going to see that. Now, what if, what if somebody else, whoever the man is that your daughter is from, what if, what if he gets married and they start talking about the kind of mom you are or you're not? So let's not do that. Let's keep it to just you and Selena not liking each other, but let's not talk about her parenting skills. Okay. That's kind of low in my opinion. But it's still on JJ. It's still on JJ. Uh, like I said, being a step parent, it's a thankless job, especially if both biological parents are healthy. They're good parents and they're still alive. Okay. It seems to me that uh, as if both Selena and JJ, they both seem to be good parents. Their kids seem to love both of them equally. So... I'm not really sure about all of this that you and JJ are coming up with about Selena. Don't do it on camera. Keep that mess off the camera when it comes to attacking her parenting skills. That has nothing to do with this show. Some men, I said it before, uh, I think it was last week or the week before, I said, you know what? I wonder if JJ married uh, Gucci to take care of his kids. And I'm not saying the man don't love his wife, but I'm going to need y'all to talk more about y'all than Selena. And I'm going to get to that a little bit later. But some men do look for women to raise their kids. And they really don't have an interest in being a husband. Did you catch that? Some men marry so that you can raise their children, but they're not really good husbands. And I'm not calling JJ a bad husband because I don't really see him being a bad husband. Um, I haven't, he seems to be a very lighthearted guy, very comical, but at the same time, I ain't really just seen y'all go deep together, right? This, this fire dynamic, this fire connection. It seems like the thing that you both have in common is, uh, Selena and JJ has had you to raise his kids. And now it's looked like he's using, uh, using you, <laughs> uh, needing you to raise his mama, so just be careful of, of kind of how, what, what role you fall into ladies, uh, in the trends that you start to see appear in your relationships. Cause this lady says she raised his kids and now he wants his mama to move in. So it sounds like you may be, if you're not careful, fall into the role of a caregiver. That's all I'm saying. But on the other hand, you knew that man came as a package deal. So please stop marrying, these, uh, please stop marrying these men, ladies, if you don't like their kids, it doesn't make for a healthy home. Um, yeah, it doesn't make for a healthy home. If you don't like the kids, you gonna have hell in that marriage. And that's all I got for that one. Okay. Let's talk about Selena. Selena has been on TV. I've always liked Selena. She's never been like a, a, a problem personality even when she could have been um I've always liked her on the dancing dolls I felt like she made excellent television I wish they could have shown her more and there were times I kind of felt like the, the other moms were kind of picking on her but I never saw her in a manner where she became adversarial hell there were times I've I've watched her and I'm like I, I hope Selena like says something back She's always seemed to be even kill for me, kind of nonchalant and let it roll off her back when I witnessed her on the dancing dolls. Not problematic, not aggressive. And I don't know. And as I watched how the women were talking to her or speaking about her after the fight, I was like, wait a minute. The Bells may not want Selena on the show. Now y'all stop that. Cause Selena, <laughs> I like Selena on the show, but y'all, I understand the loyalty and all of that, but Selena didn't start that fight. And if y'all really care, y'all need to pull Gucci aside and say, listen, what's up girl. You did kind of initiate that. 
you was real crunk. You got, you were really crunk. You got really hyped and, and you were pushing and throwing off your sunglasses, ready to fight. And that may have caused things to escalate, but no, Selena, Selena's chill in my book. Um, I'm not being, well, maybe I am being biased. Hell, I, I don't know if I am or not. I like Selena. I like Gucci too, but I just don't understand her fascination and her obsession with Selena. Um, because both of you have moved on both, both Selena and JJ have moved on. So that's all I have to say about Selena, but I do want to transition into Sanjay. Sanjay is not a problem child. Sanjay was not a problem child on dancing dolls. Sanjay actually has the demeanor of her mother. Okay. Um, well-spoken, very respectful, even when you fought her mom, Gucci, even when you were kind of shading the girl when she tried to speak to you, when, when, she, uh, when you came into the event, very respectful. There's a lot of 25-year-olds that would give you a piece of their mind after you, put, after you and their mom have engaged in a physical altercation. They would have tried to jump in. That was not the case with her, according to the cast. She actually tried to break it up. So that's different. That lets you know the type of child you're dealing with, young adult that you're dealing with. And obviously her parents did a great job. Okay. So with that being said, I believe Sanjay. I believe Sanjay and I believe Selena when they say that you've been disrespectful, Gucci behind the scenes, and you have not always been a saint to the girls or their mother. And uh, according to Sanjay, You've been this way for a number of years towards her mother, extremely disrespectful, and her mother has taken it and not said a word. She's also said recently, as they've come into age, you're very disrespectful to them as young women. I'm inclined to believe that. I'm very inclined to believe that. Number one, because of the posture that you took during the fight and also some of the conversations that you tend to have regarding their mother. What's the problem, Gucci? I think I know it, but as a woman, I'm going to pause and not say that out loud. I'm telling y'all, Selena has never given me troublemaker vibes. Like, she nor her daughters. And I'm going to say this, in a fight, nobody is sitting there measuring how they're going to hit you back. So when you come in swinging and putting your hand through a crowd, to grab somebody, you're going to get what you get, Gucci. And it sounds like you got what you got. But on the opposite end of that, it should have never happened. It could have been avoided. Gucci, you could have stepped up and just been very respectful as a classy woman since you're so quick to call Selena classless. Speak. It's not going to hurt you to say, hey, how you doing? And keep it moving. It should have never happened. So both of you bear the brunt of the responsibility, in my opinion. Let's shift to JJ. I think, I think JJ, let me tell you what, what phrase comes to mind when I think about JJ. When I think about JJ, what comes to mind for me is what lies beneath. I want to, I want to get to know more of JJ outside of his representative. The comical act, all of that. I feel like there's this undertone to you and I can't quite place my finger on it because I think you've fallen into this character that you put in front of us, but there has to be more to you, right? There has to be. Um, And I would like to see the real Slim Shady please stand up (laughs) when it comes to JJ. JJ, I hate to say it, and I actually like you, but I do feel like you are given. I'm still in love with you, new edition style. I'm still in love with you. I think you are still in love with your first wife based on some of your commentary, based on some of your focus, and based on some of these feelings and statements that you seem to make in each of your scenes. It seems like you always find your way home back to Selena, even if it's a negative mention. I feel like you are trauma bonding with Gucci over your wife. I don't know how Gucci came in your life. And I feel like Gucci may have been a great source for you to vent to when it came to whatever you and Selena were going through, going through. 
as a result, your relationship with Gucci. Now, y'all, I don't know this to be true. I'm just talking. I'm just saying I'm I'm trying to piece it together on the outside looking in. Could it be that you and Gucci trauma bonded over your hurting your pain and Gucci was a good source for you to vent, to confide in, and it morphed into a relationship? The problem is you've got to move out of that. Selena cannot be the glue or the nucleus that keeps y'all binded together. And I don't hear you and Gucci talk about nothing else but Selena and the kids. It seems like you're still mad at Cliff because of the affair that he had with Selena. My question is, if you are over Selena and you're now with Gucci, remember? You are with Gucci. Why does it matter, JJ? And how come you haven't been able to move on from that emotionally? So that's why I'm telling you, you may want to check yourself because your love for Selena is slipping out. Tuck that in a little bit. We can see that. You're mad at Latrice and you, you, you're you being irresponsible by saying, God darn it, I think Latrice set that up. Come on now. That's, that's a reach. She did not set it up for you, for those ladies to fight. Yeah, she was being messy, but you being messy when you talk about your ex. Gucci is messy. Everybody's messy on this show. You know that. You know what time it is, JJ, but ain't nobody set nothing up where people would actually fight. If you are not in love with Selena, then you would probably not want to mention her as often as you do because I feel like you kept Selena's name in your mouth when you and Gucci met up the next day after the fight. You made up a whole lie, <laughs> JJ, to, to hype up your, your new wife. You made up a whole lie. You created this false scenario in your head talking about Selena was trying to destroy what you got going on in your house. JJ, no, she's not. Selena is not jealous of you and the life that you have with Gucci. Okay. Is that what you and Gucci are running with behind closed doors? Is that the story that y'all are telling yourselves that Selena wants your life? Come on now. You know better than that, JJ. Really? So you think Selena is jealous of Gucci because you said it. Do y'all think Selena is jealous of Gucci? Do you think all of this is rooted in jealousy? And if so, who is Selena jealous of Gucci? Like JJ says, or do you feel like Gucci could be jealous of what Selena and JJ used to have? Or maybe Gucci could just be jealous of Selena. What are y'all's thoughts? JJ them pumped up this listen so J, they continue to talk JJ them pumped up this lady's head into believing that the women are jealous of her y'all he done went from Selena being jealous of Gucci to Latrice being jealous of Gucci let's check it out let's Latrice take a look JJ stop <laughs> stop it JJ <laughs> And stay out of these women's business. I need you to take a back seat all the way in the back of the auditorium. It's not a good look. Go have a seat. And then as they get up to go into the house, he tells Gucci he's going to run her bath water for her. Because he knows Selena is mad about that. For each other. I think I need to go take me a soap tonight. Yeah, well, I got that for you tonight. I'm going to run you a bubble what? bath, got done it. And bring your wine to you. I'm gonna cater to you like old husband's supposed to do a goddamn wife. I'm fixing to goddamn take you in the house and show you what she missing and what I used to do that she ain't getting right now. And that's the reason my goddamn jelly days. Let's go, buddy. Let's show, let's Sir, <laughs> why are you questioning if your ex wife is still holding on to you now, JJ? JJ, I like you and all, but you know damn well Selena is not holding on to what used to be. I'm going to need you to do better, God darn it. 
Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, 